Hello. So in this writing notes video about teaching strategies, I'm going to talk about a uh, an introductory writing prompt that I've used in the past. And that's uh, the question, which is better, hamburgers or hot dogs? So this is a useful writing prompt to get students thinking about comparative evaluation. So with this, they're looking obviously at two different things, hamburgers and hot dogs, and they have to identify sets of criteria by which to judge these food groups. Um, or not food groups, but these two different foods. So what do you look for in a sort of typical American meal, whether that's a burger or a hot dog? What kinds of things are, are you looking for? Uh, what do you value in this type of food? And which better fits that criteria? So again, this is sort of fundamental evaluation, assessment, judgment type stuff. So this can actually be really useful in something like a rhetorical evaluation project or an ad analysis or ad evaluation. Um, anything, book review, anything where you are establishing criteria, establishing standards that something should meet, and then judging whether it meets those standards, particularly if you're taking that comparative approach of, say, which of these two commercials is more persuasive for its intended audience and why. So which is better, hamburgers or hot dogs, works really well for that because, again, students have to establish their own criteria and then judge those foods. Now, that can be an adventure in itself. Um, I have had some students, so uh, most students across the board will present similar types of criteria. Uh, things like what tastes better, what's easier to put toppings on, what's easier to hold, etc, etc. But I've had students who've developed some really, really interesting criteria. Um, things like the ergonomics of eating these different foods. So students can be get really creative with this and they can have a lot of fun with this. The one sort of pitfall that I've experienced over the past few semesters of doing this activity is that usually about 90 or more percent of students in any given class will go for hamburgers. So there's not necessarily that much to really debate in the class and i mean when you get a good sort of mix when you get a decent number of people who say hot dogs are better and a decent number of people who say hamburgers are better you can have really interesting disagreements but when you've got one person out of 24 who says hamburg or who says hot dogs are better you lose a lot of that that element. But it, I mean, it's still a rewarding activity in terms of assessment and, and judging things by criteria.